20 bucks on this kickflip. So this was a day to where I actually felt way more confident to skateboard. And it just worked out in the end of the day. I just, you know, Nigel's always telling me like, hey, I'm not gonna film you unless you stick it. I was like, no, just pull out the camera, pull out the camera right now. I'm so hungry, I gotta do it right now. And somehow I convinced this guy to actually film me. You're pretty and good at that though. This is very hard to do this because Jeez. the wood was contradicting my will, so Ten bucks, and there was go. nails sticking out. And it was very tough. It's having a, a problem because the uh, the wood it's pretty soft wood I bet. And then there's cracks. So he literally has to land with like one set of wheels right here, one set of wheels right here so that he could just roll from it. And not to mention, this board right here is like, where it's broken already, it's like, dude, my foot could go like right through it if I wanted to. Damn! Oh, Woo! Got that five. <laughs> Sorry, I messed it up, I messed it up. It's basically a low tide to where... You, you were going to try a tray flip hippie jump, right? That's what I wanted to do, for sure. Yeah. But it didn't work out, so... Because it was high tide. Yeah. It was, it was horrible. Like, that thing was like nine feet tall. You almost went through, bro. And I didn't want to waste Nigel's time. See it on my camera, too. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to all up the bench and try this. So first came the kick flip. Right. Which, honestly, surprisingly, came very fast. It was very nice. And I was stoked that I got it so quick. But I started trying to double like flip it, and that's where the battle ground? began. Because like there was something. nails sticking out, there were screws, and I kept eating it over and over. But I didn't want to waste Nigel's time, you know. And somehow I got it, and I just laid down. I was so stoked that I got it, and worked out. It's like skateboarding. You, say you never want to plan your trick when you go out and filming, because you never know what's going to happen, you know. We plan to do a different trick. I'm not going to talk about it because I still might come back. But ended up just having a better idea. The, the what do you call it? The shore was a lot higher, so it made the gap a lot bigger. So we ended up getting a couple different tricks yeah. that are. Come just and stand more. over here, so so they can see actually how tall it is, dude. Because this is like seven feet, almost eight feet tall. It's huge. Yeah. So it's basically the reason I don't plan tricks because every time I do, I never really get it. We got a really like a high tide going, so it's it's pretty huge and uh. Unfortunately, didn't get the trick we wanted, but you know, skateboarding is all about having more ideas and just getting out there and expanding your freaking, you know, your horizon of what you could do. Yeah, good so, job, man. We just had a battle out, and dude, just grateful. I got to know the trick. Battle scars. So in this scene, um, Nigel actually took me my first time at Hooters, <laughs> and. Doesn't sound as bad, okay? Hooters is actually a nice place. They have really good food, so I recommend you guys go out there and uh, enjoy it. Get the really, really hot wings. But we skated the spot, and I'm doing this gnarly line following my buddy Ajax, and I'm doing a coffin grind right here, or coffin ride. And it was just fun. Like, beyond that point, when you get a good trick, you just want to goof around, you know? When you take skating serious, you just want to goof around regardless of the results but we got kicked out so we just started you know what okay we're good we're gone let's just bomb the hill do as much tricks as you can and as you can tell i always fall on my easiest trick <laughs> always tray flip no problem but this is after the whole double flip kick flip event off the pier and it was it was it was hard and this was second try as well no problem Damn. And this, unfortunately, wasn't using my part, and it was hard, because I, I actually ate it right there. I actually 
really hurt myself on that first fall. I, I am gonna be honest though, this one is kind of my fault. I just feel that, you know, this is a trick maybe I should have filmed with my other camera, but since we we're skating around, I didn't have it. But uh, if you ever wanted to do something here again, like maybe a nolly flip, I would film with my other camera and it'd look amazing, so. See, Nigel, don't lie to me, man. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you would, but I don't think I'll ever nollie flip that thing. That thing is hard to skate. It was hard enough just to kickflip. And if you guys don't believe me, take yourself all the way to Long Beach, downtown, and actually step up to that. that was pretty tight. And try to kickflip into it. Try to ollie into it. And I guarantee it's going to be really hard for you. No problem. Ouch, dude. Are you okay? Yeah. That was almost a freaking. That was oh, the first. Dude, like, seriously, like scraped my nipple on the ground, dude. <laughs> that was almost the first Manny to Scorpion I've ever seen. I tapped on the last one. Was that it? No. Nope, that it? it wasn't it, Nigel. No. Nigel no. said it was that it. It wasn't it. Uh, this is a trick that I didn't really think people would like. And somehow, it just kind of worked itself into my part. I actually filmed a few tricks. This was one of these clips that was very hard. And I had it actually, yeah, I rode away with my butt right there. That was nice. <laughs> First try. First try. Dude, like yeah. Aaron Cairo and Braille. <laughs> Thank you guys for the shout outs all day. This is just something like the ground was so rough. I actually ended up cutting my hand over and over again on this. I cut my hand twice. So both of my hands, left and right, were cut. It was very harsh. And even though I clipped on the landing, it was nice. It was hard. And anybody who hates on the clip, go try it. Have fun with it. It's very hard to do something like that down something like so big. Yeah. Okay, so Carlos, we, st we did a bet right away and he got really, really close to this oh. right away in the beginning. And uh, he actually kind of landed it, but not really. Dude, that's the whole three second rule, man. And that's not actually, even three I have seconds, to, bro. I have to abide by it, okay? You were right, I didn't land it and I ended up eating it 52 tries before I even landed the actual clip. Bro, this is one of the gnarliest battles I've ever seen. This and is I'm the so gnarliest battle for my part, okay? This is, if you guys have to ask any question, this is the gnarliest battle that I've ever had for any clip that I've done for the video part that you just recently seen. Yeah, dude, so it was- on my end, it was horrible. It was also 95 degrees that day. Yes. It was super hot. 
the beginning of summer. But what's great about this day and nobody knows about is uh, Cricket hit up Nigel and we actually got to skate the street league course that day. So Nigel rounded up a bunch of good homies and we got to skate and I actually got a good trick out of it. And this is the aftermath. So I was kind of tired already. And I ended up falling 52 times before I even landed it. And you can see right there, like, my butt hurts. <laughs> it was horrible. It was horrible. Nigel, get better at filming, bro. One day, maybe. I'm trying, you know. T 22 years in the game. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of figuring it out. Oh, this is before the gimbal. Step by step. Day, day by day. day. There you go. <laughs> One day I'll learn how to film. Okay, if you young kids don't know about that, uh... Just look up. Just look up those lyrics. Yep, look them up. And Comment. Let us know. So now we're, uh, what? I don't even know. We're like 20 in. Or nah, this is like 50 tries in, bro. Okay, so I'm done talking because I know I have another 25 to realize like what my shame is. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Just know that out of every clip I filmed in my part, this was the harsh, this is like the beating I took over everything. My nickname is Fibs, and you work hard at your tricks, and every time when it's hard, just take your hat off, because that was a controversy on this trick. I took my hat off, aerodynamics, dude, I'm good. I landed it. <laughs> aerodynamics. Dynamics. Dude, I said domestics. Okay, okay, restart, restart that. Okay. Nah, bro. Dude, Fly, bro. No, I said you, you hear all those bleeps? <laughs> <laughs>